Comic books aren't known for shying away from strange subject matter, but over the years, Marvel has managed to whip up a few moments that went further than we'd ever thought possible. Some of these events caused major controversies, while others flew below the radar. But all of them haunted us well after we put the comics down. Here is but a small sampling of some of the most disturbing moments in Marvel Comics. Spider-Man's Sins Past The Amazing Spider-Man Sins Past storyline is a troubling, poorly plotted tale that defies continuity and outright poisons Spider-Man's timeline. The story is disturbing on many levels. First, there's the very creepily drawn image of Norman Osborn having um, a, an adult encounter with Gwen Stacy, Spider-Man's first love. Seriously, nobody wants to see that, Marvel. That was followed up by a ridiculous secret pregnancy and rapidly aging, genetically modified twins dead set on murdering Peter Parker. Arguing that Spider-Man Sins Past is one of the worst comics of the 2000s, one comic book critic noted that the series reads almost like a mashup of every bad idea in comic storied history. Ouch. Carnage's Power Drill the origin story of Carnage is one of the darkest in Marvel Comics history. The boy who grows up to be the classic bad guy murders his grandmother by pushing her down the stairs. Next, he sets his sights on man's best friend, his foster parent's dog. The poor pup was healthy, happy, and trusting, and Kid Carnage chose to torment it with a power drill. Even considering all the other terrible things he's done over the years, that one's definitely one of the cringiest. Hank Pym's Domestic Cruelty for most of his life in comics, Dr. Henry Pym, aka Ant-Man, aka Giant-Man, aka Goliath, aka Yellowjacket, aka Wasp, has made some pretty bad decisions. Like, for instance, his inability to stick to one superhero identity. Or perhaps that time he accidentally created Ultron. But more than anything else, Hank Pym is known for his unhealthy relationship with Janet Van Dyne, the original Wasp, which came to a head in 1981's Avengers No. 212. During an argument, Pym punches Janet and knocks her across a room. Pym was booted from the Avengers, but that incident remains one of the most controversial moments in Marvel history, and it continues to color fans' perception of Hank Pym to this day. Twincest in Ultimates Needless to say, those are just some examples of the insanity that went down in Marvel's many years of comic books. So by the early 2000s, Marvel tried to simplify things and update its characters with the launch of the Ultimate Marvel line of comics, and the Ultimate version of the Avengers were simply called the Ultimates. The Ultimates book was often blunt and brutal, tackling everything from a leaked tape of a cinematic no-pants party between Black Widow and Tony Stark to 3D-printed clones of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. But that doesn't hold a candle to swinging on the family tree. In the third Ultimate series, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, who are brother and sister, get down to bedtime business in the woods, while Wolverine watches from the bushes. Yikes. Ultimates 3 should have been the worst of it, but then came Ultimatum. Ultimatum's Gross Weird Massacre after a few years, the Ultimate Marvel Universe was just as confusing as the regular one. So Marvel published a miniseries called Ultimatum to try to tidy it up. But all it really did was sweep the old mess into a corner and dump more dirt all over the floor. In this event series, Magneto flips the magnetic poles of the Earth, wreaking havoc and causing the deaths of millions of people. And if that weren't bad enough, the bad guy known as Blob straight up eats the wasp centers. Then, in a fit of revenge, Giant Man turns around and chops off the Blob's head. Uh, and the horror show doesn't stop there. Magneto uses Iron Man's suit and Cyclops' powers to obliterate Wolverine. Then, Cyclops blows Magneto's head off with his eye beams. To go along with those disgustingly brutal deaths, Ultimatum also wiped out enough fan favorites on and off panel in a bloodbath that would have put the Game of Thrones red wedding scene to shame. Punisher steamrolls Wolverine. From brother sister love to power drilled pooches, you'd think there wouldn't be too many lines left for Marvel Comics to cross. But then that means you probably forgot about the Punisher. When writer Garth Ennis reinvented the Punisher franchise for Marvel Knights and Punisher Max, he left Frank Castle with a new death-dealing life. In fact, there's a moment that stayed with readers for a long time. In two issues of The Punisher from 2001, our hero gets into a fight with Wolverine and uses a shotgun to blast the skin and soft tissue off Wolverine's face. Shoots him, um, between the legs, but you know where. And runs him over with a steamroller, Austin Power style. Move! 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 
When he's done, the Punisher parks the thing on top of Wolverine's crushed frame, which actually isn't really disturbing so much as it's completely hilarious. Yeah, that seems about right. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.